Democracy is a sacred word in the United States. <clears throat> America sees itself as the bastion of democracy, protecting it at home and fighting to promote it abroad, for better or for worse. Yet despite our ideals, American democracy is complex and occasionally flawed. As we consider what is the new democracy, the answer is a process that engages all people, especially the young ones, in designing and building a system that works to solve problems rather than protect the status quo. America's status quo is marked by uncertainty, gridlock, and a degraded sense of common purpose. There is no better representation of this than the Washington, D.C. government shutdown. There is a vacuum of leadership. There is an absence of governance. According to the Presidential Youth Council, less than 30 percent of young people fear their voice is represented in government. This is unsurprising. We are the most racially and ethnically diverse and religiously and sexually tolerant generation America has ever seen. Yet our representatives are mostly white, male, Christian, and straight. Meanwhile, the core functions of our system continue to be undermined by money and politics, voter suppression efforts, and crippling budget cuts. With our disillusionment comes disengagement from politics. In 2012, only 45 percent of young people voted. To many, our generation is simply apathetic, not asking to be taken seriously. But the problem isn't apathy. Every four years, we are asked to be the boots on the grounds for candidates, making phone calls and knocking on doors. Yet we are never asked for our ideas or for our engagement between elections. Over the last six years, I've worked with the Roosevelt Institute, which was born out of this youth engagement problem. We are a nonpartisan organization of over 10,000 millennials working to empower young people as leaders and promote their ideas for change. We call our model for this new democracy Think Impact. Using ideas and actions, millennials can create a blueprint for 21st century governance. Think Impact. Our initiative, Think 2040, asked thousands of millennials for their vision and roadmap for America in 2040. In this vision, America continues to be a model of innovation, tolerance, and strength. We aspire to create a world that is more equitable, more community-driven, and better prepared to tackle our country's problems. The old model of the white, male, moneyed politician is no longer relevant. Today's minorities will be tomorrow's majority. Our government must transform to represent these previously silent voices. In January, Roosevelt launched its action plan based on Think 2040 discussions. We call it a government for and by millennial America. Combining high ideals and pragmatic solutions, the plan demands change through local action. That we combat challenges not that we combat challenges within the existing system to generate lasting impact. Create change not just through protest, but collaborative action. Engaging with community members, nonprofits, and elected officials, we can think impact by leading with our ideas. We must design unique, realistic solutions tailored to our communities. We can implement them by demanding to have our solutions heard. Roosevelt's action plan isn't just fantasy. Every year, our members produce thousands of policy proposals, putting passion to paper and ideas to the doors of policymakers. For example, in Washington, D.C., the City Council implemented our members' proposal to close loopholes in predatory payday lending. We designed tax-based automatic enrollment that was included in national health care reform. We have started our own nonprofits, worked in the White House, served in local government, we aren't just testing our ideas of this new democracy, we are implementing them. Millennials are uniquely able to achieve our vision for the future. Social media gives us a forum to share ideas and to collaborate. Technology has the potential to broaden and deepen participation in the democratic process. Our generation has an expectation to be heard. Our shared experiences make us socially empathetic, innovative problem solvers, both capable and willing to work together. Our generation will inherit a society built by others unless we take an active role in envisioning 
and shaping our future. What is your vision for your country in 2040? What is your blueprint for change? How can you think impact?